Hello, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up network rendering. Now, network rendering allows you to render on a different PC to the one you are on. This has some benefits. You have faster rendering, even though, even if, excuse me, the other PC has a lower spec than yours, because you haven't got all the uh, other crap running with it. So. <clears throat> So the first thing you want to do is have a PC ready, which you can install Adobe After Effects CS4 or CS3. And then navigate to C, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS4, or wherever it may be located, and run this, the Adobe After Effects Render Engine. So now you have this. Now you may recognize this from effects when you add things to the render queue, which we'll be doing later on as well. So the first thing you want to do is on your computer you want to, I'm going to go into Chris Public and create a new folder. I'm going to name this folder Watch Folder, for simplicity's sake. And once we have named that, we can now share it. Oops. Just bring this window into view. Like so. So I created this folder here. Now I'm going to right click and go to properties. Click on the sharing tab. Advanced Sharing, click Continue, and share this folder. So we have that. We're going to go to Permissions and click Full Control. That should be it. OK, OK, and Close. So now that folder has been shared. Although you probably didn't have to, since it's in public folder, I just like to do that for simplicity's sake. So now we have that folder. We're going to go back to the All Render PC. Go to Start, right click on my computer and Map Network Drive. So once you've done, got this open, you can choose a letter and click Browse. Then you're going to find your PC in the folder you wish to share. Yeah, so we can have that folder. We connect the logon and click Finish. So now we have our watch folder as our hard drive. So now in the render engine, you can go to File and Watch Folder. And now you're going to choose the watch folder hard drive we just created and click OK. So now do not cancel this as it will be searching constantly for new project files and so on. So now we're going to export a project file along with its control file for it to render automatically. So open up After Effects in your main PC. Now I've just created this demo video here, 3D room and so on. I'm going to um, Composition, Add to Render Queue, now delete any queued compositions you may have. Then I'm going to requeue it like so. Now we're going to choose our settings we want to export it as. So I'm going to choose QuickTime Movie, Format Options, that's all good. In animation, hmm. Brilliant Colors Plus, yeah, and then, so click OK. Now we want to change the location of where it's going to be saved. Now you want to choose this somewhere in your folder, the watch folder, click save. So now we have that, you can go to file and collect files. If you get this thing saying the project must be saved first, click OK and then it will be saved. Now you want to change this all demo and then change this to the number of machines you have. I only have one. So 
I'm going to make that one. Click collect. And now navigate to your watch folder and click save. Now that's saved. Now if we go to our rendering PC, it will now search and add it automatically and render it instantly. So there we go. Now that's all that needs to be done. As you can see, it's rendering very quickly. It has, there's no three minutes, and I rendered this out on my After Effects, and it took around 10 minutes. Now, the reason why it's quicker in here, even though it has a lower specification, is because it hasn't got all the background services and After Effects open. Now, the benefit of using this is that I find the memory never goes too high for it to not to be able to finish rendering. I've only ever seen it go to 51% and it's never gone past that. So now it's rendering. We have two minutes left. Now, the good thing about this is while it's rendering, you can actually make some changes to your composition while it's rendering, which you couldn't do if you had it as one PC. I suppose it makes it slightly easier. So now it's still rendering. Now I use Tight VNC for this, which is free, and you just Google Tight VNC and you should find it there. So I'm going to pause this while this renders out. So my render has now finished. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're in the watch folder, and if we go to the wall folder, go to wall demo, and then now 607 megabytes. Let me open this up now. I'm going to close that because it should have been run in QuickTime Media Player. Click it now. Right now. I'm going to have to scale this down. Click play. As you can see, it's rendered out perfectly. Yes. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next one.